a nice toothbrush. So a lot of people have the finger toothbrushes and that's really, really great. It's a great place to start. Um, I don't think it provides enough abrasion on the teeth to really do too much, but um, I think it's good to actually for them to actually have abrasion on the teeth. So, but here's a nice little finger toothbrush I'm sure everybody knows of. So when I first work with this cat with clicker training, um, I might just take my finger teeth toothbrush and I might just, maybe, maybe I'll even scratch them with that. Oh, wow, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. See, good. And then I might, um, so I might not use the clicker to start with. I might just do this. Hey guys, I think that it's a great idea for you to get in there and brush your cat's teeth to prevent tartar buildup, to spend less money at the vet, to minimize the need for extractions, keep those um, cavities from coming, to familiarize yourself with your cat's normal um, oral anatomy, and to notice any small growths or discharge or coloration or inflammation. And so I think you should just get up in the morning and start doing it. And um, this is another vi uh, photo to show you guys how, what, uh, all the, see that inflammation around this cat's teeth? And um, all of that inflammation could be prevented by brushing. And the only reason I'm going around here is because Trish has kind of trained him to be rewarded around his head, it looks like, which yeah. is fine, which is great. We condition our animals. So, but if I'm going to just teach him to, um, to get kind of used to this, we'll have you click in just a second. So the first step is, is going to be that I'm just going to be able to hold his head like this. Watch that this finger doesn't go in that eye. It's back on the zygomatic arch. But this thumb pulls the, back, pulls the gum back so that I'm able to look at those beautiful teeth, which you oh, do brush already, don't you? A little bit. I try, but not. No, that's nice. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> okay, so now we'll just click and we'll treat. Good boy, yeah. Click oh. and treat. So that's the first step. We just um, are able to hold the head in position. We're able to bring the gum back. Yep. This is the position that we'll need to get because I'm a right-sided brusher. And then the next thing is this. Good. Good, good boy. Yes. <laughs> good He's like, I think I want to be on my mom's lap. <laughs> about me. Right. So right there, all we didn't even enter in toothpaste. You we didn't do fun. anything. We all we did you was like the tooth. All he did was feel the toothbrush on the tooth. <laughs> um, the next step would be that we feel the toothbrush on the tooth and that we feel that it moves, and then we'll click. There we go. Good. Oh, yes. See how we're giving him a little bit of time in between, so he's getting a release here. That's good, good boy. And then so the last step is to put just a two drops of Vet's Life or Pet's Life oral gel on the uh, toothbrush. And that's the only amount, we just use a tiny bit, it's an essential oil based product, it keeps the tartar off the teeth pretty well, especially if you do it three times a week. Um, but here in this picture, Billy just liked to curl up in the sink, but I don't really want you guys to use Colgate or any of human toothpaste on the cats, can't cause a little irritation or gastritis. <clears throat> Um, you guys can also use a little, just a tit, um, little couple drops of apple cider vinegar. You can use the CET enzymatic toothpaste, which is poultry flavored or malt flavored. So cats usually like it. And you can graduate to a larger toothbrush, a, a small child's toothbrush. That's great to do too. And um, eventually their teeth will be as clean as if they ate a mouse head and chomped on it. The mouse bones being the very, very, very... Uh, best way to keep the teeth clean. Thanks so much.